the spirit of man that goes upward and the spirit of the beast that goes downward to the earth. Germany between two great wars. Germany, land of Luther and Goethe, Bach, Beethoven, Albert Einstein and Adolf Hitler. Germany in the mid-1930s. A country reborn from humiliating defeat shows a new face. Prosperity, full employment, an electric national unity. One of the great myths to emerge from the Second World War was that the German people lived in fear of Adolf Hitler's Nazis, that they were terrorized into passive submission. In the mid-1930s, these were people, for the most part, living happily and with pride under one of the most brutal dictatorships the world has ever known. people followed the leader down the path of madness. There's an ancient allegory which throws light on man's inhumanity to man. Reinige Fuchs, Reynard the Fox. His enemies said Reynard was a liar, a thief and a murderer. On the other hand, Reynard often spoke of God. Most of the animals in the forest loved him. He was elevated, later in our story, to the highest office of the land, the chancellorship.
But in the beginning, Reynard had a rival, a great king. He was potentate of all the forests and mountains and meadows, stretching from here to there, and was benefactor and unquestioned king of all the animals. This great lord's name was King über alles, and he embodied in his person all the tradition and spirit of great kings and leaders everywhere. But this day all was not well in the land of über alles. My liege, my lord, clucked honest Chanticleer, I bear with me my dead wife on her bier. Then spoke at once the bear, the wolf, the ram, the cat, the rooster, and the gentle lamb. Your majesty, they cried, ill fares the land. The blackguard Reynard preys on every hand. Your kingly peace betrayed us and usurped. They bellowed, barked, screamed, brayed, and chirped. At last, enough, King Ubala's ward. Our rage we swear by scepter, crown, and sword. Now you, good badger, fetch me Reynard here. By royal command must fox in court appear. And so the badger, trembling in his skin, was deputized to bring the outlaw in. But badger's fears were quickly put to rest when he beheld poor Reynard's holiness. A loving family man and father he, who loyally would obey the king's decree. And once they started on their dusty way, good Reynard kneeled him in the road to pray. Oh, shrive me, badger, I am innocent. No harm to fellow creature ever meant. To plot against me is the shameful habit of evil wolf and birds and brutal rabbit. To clear my name and court I trust and go. In certain faith, my soul is white as snow. First World War in 1914 brought death to 10 million men, women and children. For Adolf Hitler, it brought new life. The war came, he later wrote, as a deliverance from the distress that had weighed upon me. I am not ashamed to say that I sank down on my knees and thanked heaven. For four years, Hitler served as a message runner on the Western Front. Though never promoted beyond the rank of corporal, he served with courage and dedication, was twice wounded and twice decorated. He found in war a comradeship, a purposefulness, he had never known in peace. But in 1918, like millions of other nationalistic Germans, Hitler could not accept the defeat of the Kaiser.